I imagine the last few weeks might have come as a little bit of a shock to you. I did warn you things would be different in year 11 and they are very, very different. You are going to have increased pressure, increased focus from your teachers. In some schools you may now be the oldest year in school and everything is going to be focused on you. Some of you may have even heard the dreaded word mocks coming up. Yes, it is generally going to be, they generally happen between November and January. Some schools like to get them in before Christmas. Some schools are kind, not kind, I'm not sure it's a good thing or a bad thing, and do them straight after Christmas so that you're advising over the Christmas holidays. Mocks are important. Um, there is a general, very, very general, very, very rough rule of thumb that between your mocks and your actual exam, you're going to go up about 10 marks. That is not 10 grades, that is 10 marks. So if you're pulling in a 5 or a 6 or a B or a C in your exams and you're aiming for those 8s, those 9s or those A's and those A stars, then you have quite a lot of work to do. If you are getting the grade that you're supposed to be getting in your mocks, that is brilliant, but do not slack off. Your mock results and um, results that you're getting in class are probably gonna lead to things like interventions being put in place. These are going to lead to um, talks about predicted grades. Parents evening is probably going to be coming up very, very shortly as well. As your teachers and the people at home try and sort out whatever issues may be dealing with at the moment, and try and get you the best grade that you possibly can and then on top of all of this you need to be making choices about next year about colleges about sixth form about a levels about apprenticeships potentially even about jobs that you want to follow there is a lot for you to do at the moment i know it is stressful so the first thing i want you to do and i know this is easy for me to say not very easy for you to do is to not panic i'm going to link i can't remember which corner it is in to the last video that i published um the same video um but the one with just when you went back to school and i got all of the year 12s to comment on it with advice for you so what we need to do is to go back and read all the comments on that video because the year 12s when they commented on that video they'd literally just finished their gcse's they remember what you're feeling like at the moment so their advice literally is going to be the best advice out there they have just done it they know exactly how you feel so please go and watch that read all the comments and please take the advice on board because what the majority of them saying is what i've been saying for one night is that please start revising and I don't mean sitting down for hours and hours and hours and slogging and slogging and slogging. I mean, like, start making flashcards now. Start doing questions now. Start doing papers now. The more you do now, the less you have to do later. We're talking little and often, little and often, little and often. Because instead of spending, like, six hours the day before the exam or six hours the day before your mock studying something like paper one chemistry over and over and try and scale it on your head doing 20 minutes one day 20 minutes the day after having a break doing 20 minutes that day that is going to be so much better for you and it's going to feel less stressful than trying to cram the whole of paper one into the day before your mock start watching the whole topic videos just to see what you know and see what you don't know. Go over to the website, get the free revision guide, use the checklist to work out what you know, work out what you don't know, and work out which areas you need to focus on. There's loads and loads of stuff that you need to recall, like your, your vocab, your French, your dates for history, your units and equations for physics and maths. Start making the flashcards now. This isn't like hard revision you can do this in front of holly oaks you can do this while watching the football or whatever you're watching just sit there and make all the flashcards or find all the flashcards on quizlet or find all the flashcards over on my instagram or download the flashcards from my website i'm doing so much stuff so much stuff that that i can try and help you in so many different ways to make your life as easy as it can be but you have to do some stuff as well because the more work you do now the less work you'll have to do later and the less stressed you'll be when it comes to exam times and that is really what we're aiming for for you not to be stressed around exam times so please guys please remember to look after yourself and please remember that part of looking after yourself is doing sensible small chunks of revision frequently and not overloading yourself Ouch. Mm, I'll be too